Good afternoon everyone. Hey, and on today's episode we are reinstalling the Mark II rear beam which we have upgraded with uh, energy suspension polyurethane bushings. So as always, let's get to work because this has been Chiao's Garage. try on error system today because I don't know what's the easiest way to mount this I'm gonna give it a try first mounting the uh, the shock to the beam uh, right here is the actual uh, hole right here for the beam so using your mark II so, uh, the rear shock bolt we're gonna lift the beam up and try to like guess put it in an angle now we're only gonna let it hang from the actual bolt and we're not going to let it hang completely because we still have the wheel here for support so this is just an idea that i gave myself i'm going to see if this actually works if it does then it's going to be a lot less work to do this job than what i figured so there's that one now just hand tighten the nut that way it doesn't get out of the way but you can see there you go right there the bolt and you saw how easy it was that I did it all by hand I didn't use anything special so you'll see the beam is hanging the reason why I'm trying to do this this way is once I have the other shock mounted I'm just going to get a jack and jack it right here from the middle and push it up and then the two plates will line up and then I just have to hand tighten everything in and then once I'm done just bolt everything back into place. I think it's a pretty smart idea. I think it's going to be an easier option than doing it the other way where I have to mount the plate first and everything. I think it's just going to take too long so wish me luck because I'm going to go over here on the other side and do the same thing. You saw how I did it. so. Let's see if I get you guys a good angle right there. And I'll start on the next side. It's really hot today. It's about like 98. So I'm going to do this as quick as I can because the floor is really, really hot. It's very uncomfortable to lay on. Same process, get that bolt in there, all by hand. Now the beam's actually floating. So the next step is to get the jack right here around the middle and push it up and then um, bolt in the three bolts on each side. Now that we actually got the uh, jack in place, we're going to push it up and make sure everything lines up. Um, so let's get this guy jacked up. Yeah, I'm all the way up. Well, let's pay it to see if it lines up the way it's supposed to. See here. There you go. Here are the holes. 
We're off by like a millimeter or two. Not too shabby. Nothing a little wiggling could do now. Remember, the trick is with everything that you put on, your general rule of thumb is that it has to be able to go in by hand. If you cannot thread this in by hand, then it's not in correctly. Simple as that. Very easy rule, very easy to follow. And it's for some reason, a lot of you guys like to mess that up. That one's done. That went in really, really smoothly. Now that's taking a little bit more effort to thread in. So we're gonna jack this up a little bit more. A little bit more pressure on that beam. There we go. It's going, man. How you been? All right. That was the bill, man. Super cool guy. Uh, he's been coming to my place for a while. Always checks out my projects. You know, there's always something going on in the house garage. So I got two out of the three bolts in by hand. The third one is kind of tricky because it's in a weird, really tight spot over here. But again, oh, we got more of those. It's also at a weird angle. It's not like a flat. It's actually slanted. So remember that it doesn't go in very nice. All right, got that sucker in. So, give you guys a quick look. There's the two, and then the third one down below. Just give me a second here. There it is, number three, yep. So those three, get those guys in. Remember by hand, because once you got those by hand, you can actually tighten them down pretty nicely and then torque everything down to spec. Um, later, we're going to remove the fuel system completely because we're going to go to a Mark III system. Uh, it's old school, um, or I guess more advanced, but a lot more simple. Everything's in tank. So pay attention to the YouTube channel because we're going to go and do the Mark III swap later. We just got to hunt down a Mark III fuel tank. That's the uh, hard part. Doing it will be pretty easy. So those three. I'll repeat the process on the other side. And then I'll show you guys what to do next. Alright, now the beam is installed. Nothing's torqued to spec yet. Because we got to get other little things back in. For example, this spring right here. Has to be put back in now this is what allows the beam to pretty much travel and it holds this proportioning valve in place as well so this this valve is a little tricky um, since it uses two bolts one down here one on top to get it back in place um, this is what this valve does is actually evenly splits the brake fluid from both sides of the car from left and right. If not, that valve did not exist. One side would break first before the other. So that's what this is here for. Um, so, oh, so I recommend that you pay to close attention on how this mounts because this is very important. Uh, it's only held together by two, two bolts right here with no nuts. It just bolts into this metal plate and it's kind of tricky. So what I would recommend Let's try to get the bottom bolt in first. Uh, unless you shoot it across the freaking... Uh.
Oh, yeah, yeah. Like I said, it's tricky. to get this to fit it's very difficult everything just keeps falling out it doesn't stay in place to move you guys out of the way so I'm gonna turn you guys off and put you guys back on in a minute all right so the spring goes around this little roller remember that and then right over here the 213s are going by hand and tighten them back down with your wrench um, I'm gonna get ready to tighten this sucker down these 13 millimeters right here all this has to be tightened down and then last but not least the beam bolts you're going to need to tighten down as well, the one, two, three, same thing on that side, but that's all that's left on that side is just the, the beam bolts and then the uh, bushing bolt, and that's it on one side. Once we get that done, once that's all done, um, the next DIY will be redoing the entire brake system, which will be a lot more in depth, because we got to build a whole entire rear end on this car. So, thanks again everybody for watching Pinchial's Garage. Look up your torque specs uh, on Google. Uh, there's a lot of information online for that. I haven't gotten to the point where I'm going to do the torque specs on this yet because I have a lot more stuff I got to do. So just do your research online. It's not going to take you very long. <laughs> Thanks for watching this episode of Pinchel's Garage. Peace out, and as always, we're going to break for two